Welcome to the 5X Racing YouTube channel. I'm John, the owner of 5X Racing, and also the product specialist here. And with these videos, we hope to provide an extra level of support with both instructions and product overview videos that will help you understand our products a little bit better and ensure that we're doing our due diligence to make sure we're uh, representing our products the best we can. With racing, comes some pretty tricky and difficult things to understand. Um, I know a lot of our products on the catalog are a little bit tough to wrap your head around, especially when it comes to suspension. So what we've done is partnered with Fat Cat Motorsports, which are suspension specialists that are very focused on Miata suspension. With the focus on Miata suspension, Fat Cat has created tons of great Miata products regarding suspension over the years. We've been lucky enough to become the new manufacturer and main distributor of the Fat Cat Motorsports branded products. And along those paths, we have been able to expand a little bit on some of their products, which has been um, fun for us because we know the products work, but yet we like to offer a little bit of alternative. So without going into too much detail, which is already confusing enough, Today, the product overview we're gonna focus on is on our DIY Miata coilover kits. So the coilover kits are a little tough to understand. There's a lot of options out there. There are a lot of out of the box, ready to go coilover kits that are available from several companies, both very budget to very expensive. And, um, Sometimes with stuff like that, you get what you pay for, obviously. Um, the more expensive kits are using better quality products, maybe a little bit more research and development and thought put into it. Um, but in general, a lot of those out of the box coilover kits are manufactured in Asia, um, China or Thailand specifically, and they are all very, very, very similar. So without mentioning brand names or anything, because I am a, a person of whatever works best for you is fine by me. I'm not going to try to sell you something that you're not 100% with um, because it works for me. So everybody has personal preference. If your personal preference or your budget lies with an Asian built coilover, then by all means that might be the best route that takes you where you want to go. With that said, being a Spec Miata racer for the last 16 years or so, um, I've become very accustomed to and very familiar with the Bilstein shocks for the Miata. Bilstein shocks are a German manufactured OEM replacement shock. So with that, you have many years of experience, um, many years of proven product uh, ability with these shocks. And the reason I'm familiar with them is because I've used this exact setup on my Spec Miata race car since 2006, 2007. Um, so with that, I know exactly how they work, how they feel um, on the track and off. I've used them both on my race cars and on some street cars before. So with that, we decided to use the Bilstein shock as the basis of DIY coilover kits that we now offer. So the DIY part is do it yourself, obviously. Um, and that comes with us basically creating a package for you to build your own Miata coilover kit. Um, and this is providing you with all the parts and pieces that you need from the Bilstein shock to the coilover sleeve to the Eibach racing springs with your choice of spring rate to the bump stop. We use 36 millimeter bump stops that we manufacture. These are the Fat Cat Motorsports Spec Miata specific bump stops, but we also have our own 36 millimeter. We have a black, which is a hard, stiff variety, which is closely matched to the Fat Cat. Then we have a blue, which is a more all around. This is a 200 inch pound spring rate bump stop. I forgot to mention that the black is a 300 inch pound spring rate. So the spring rate of this is the equivalent to a 300 inch pound spring. The blue is equivalent to a 200 inch pound spring. And of course our yellow, which is a softer 100 inch pound bump stop. 
All these bump stops are 36 millimeters in height. And what that does is it gives you more shock travel on a suspension that's going to be lowered. So obviously the suspension, you're not going to have the shock travel when you lower your car down to the ground that you see on the shock right here. So when you do install your coilovers and you get them on the car, you're going to set your ride heights. You're going to corner balance your car. That's the other good thing about an adjustable shock. And you're going to lose the majority of this shock travel. So by reducing the height of these bump stops, the stock bump stops are much, much taller because they're not meant for a lowered suspension. So when you lower your suspension, you want to make sure that you're reducing the height of your bump stop. So of course, these are automatically included in our coilover kits. And you, of course, get to choose what bump stops you want in your coilover kit. And the rest of the kit going forward, of course, the Eibach race spring with your choice of rates. We have our um, 5X Racing Fat Cat Motorsports spring isolator that keeps this spring centered in the shock hat. We use OEM 1999 through 2005 Miata shock mounts. They work great and they have a distinct advantage over the NA shock hats to where they plunge upward right here. This extra three quarters of an inch you see from it where it mounts to the shock allows that shock assembly to have three quarters more three quarters of an inch more travel than an NA shock mount. So um, that's another benefit of one of our uh, shock mounting kits that I'll highlight in another video. To top it off, we have an upper and underneath, you don't see the hardware, but there's an upper and lower bushing that are made from the same material as the fat cap bump stop. So that ensures a nice stiff compliance, uh, gets rid of the rubber bushings that are in the stock shocks. And then we top it off with one of our um, thick washers and a custom M10 shoulder nut that plunges down and keeps this whole assembly centered onto the shock shaft. So it's a pretty intricate setup, but when broken down, it's um, very thoughtful, uh, very uh, easy to wrap your head around once you get a look at it as it is here. So with this being a little difficult to wrap your head around while reading this information on the website, hopefully this video helps you out. And furthermore, we've created several different DIY coilover pre-assembled or pre-determined kits that we put together with spring rates um, that are proven to promote a flat ride technology. Flat ride is a, um, a technology that was created by Fat Cat Motorsports with um, extensive testing and shock combinations and spring combinations. Um, the uh, mines at Fat Cat have created special spring rate uh, combinations with bump stop combinations, the whole package to promote a flat ride. Um, a flat ride is of course a well-balanced car. So we do have our custom kits already ready to go with our choices of spring rates based on what type of driving and what type of activity you want to participate with with your car. From track, track day to race, to um, street touring, to uh, sport touring, dual purpose where you like to drive your track car to the track uh, and also drive it on the street. So check those out uh, on the um, coilover category page on our website. And um, if there's more information that you seek, go to our support section on the website. And there we have suspension calculators created by Fat Cat Motorsports that will take you down a rabbit hole of very interesting information and allow you to play with spring rate combinations and roll bar combinations and everything. So with all of this, we hope this helps you understand, firstly, our coilover kits a little bit better and how they work and why we made them. Okay, so as you can see, there are a lot of parts on the table here. So our coilover kits are based off of a Bilstein off the shelf shock absorber, an OEM replacement shock absorber for the Miata. These are Bilstein HD, which are the B6 variety. And the B6 just means that it's a heavier duty shock based for street vehicles. 
Um, we can tell the difference between the NA shocks and the NB shocks by the shank on this shock shaft. The NB has a lot longer of a shank. I'll go into the differences between the NA and NB shocks in a separate video. But as you can see, our kits comprise of all parts, both aftermarket, OEM, 5X Racing custom parts, and of course, um, some regular standard parts to uh, keep this whole thing affordable and easy. Um, the basis of it is really to provide a shock package, a coilover package more specifically, that provides you with the ability to both change your spring rates in the future if you choose to, and also find easy replacements for the parts. Bilstein shocks are available in many, many places. OEM shock hats are available from us and a lot of other dealerships uh, if you choose to. And uh, these coilover kits and the shock mount kit are all 5X racing parts. So we always have those in stock. So let's go over these parts a little bit more specifically. In your kit, when you order a DIY Spec Me Out a coilover kit from us, first thing you're going to get is a full set of Bilstein HD shocks for the NA Miata. And Spec Miatas use NA Bilstein shocks. They do not use the NB variety of Bilstein. So even if you have a 99 through 05 Miata, you're still going to use the 90 through 97 shocks. Now these shocks have proven to be really reliable and good over the course of probably 20 years now worth of Spec Miata racing. Um, they they're just a solid shock and they're easily convertible into a coilover that makes it fully adjustable so you can get your corner weights where you want to on your race car. So first thing you're going to get in this kit and see are the shocks. The second thing on the list here are OEM shock hats or OEM shock mounts. These are the OEM mounts from the 99 through 05 Mazda Miatas. These mounts differ from the 90 through 97 mounts because they have a plunge here, a three quarter inch plunge that gives three quarters more shock travel, three quarters of an inch more of shock travel. So these were chosen to be the shock top, shock mount of choice for Spec Miata back in around, I say 2007, when they adopted the Fat Cat Motorsports shock mount kit. So moving on to that, we're going to go into our Fat Cat Motorsports shock mount kit. And we at 5X Racing have expanded on this kit with our own versions of bump stops. But in this kit, since it's a Spec Miata kit, we're using the Spec Miata legal bump stops. So we'll get into the 5X Racing kits in a different video. However, your coilover shock mount kit, your Fat Cat Motorsports Spec Miata shock mount kit, is going to consist of four 36 millimeter bump stops, four upper shock mount bushings, four lower shock mount bushings, four top washers, which have an M14 hole, and four perch washers, which have an M10 hole to go over the Bilsteins. And we'll show you how these work on the shocks coming up. Also, we have the M10 shoulder nuts which squeeze the whole assembly together. And then we have our variety of Bilstein shock collars. So your Bilsteins, when you get them out of the box, are gonna come with a lock nut and a shock collar that's just like a black steel shock collar. This is a zinc plated steel, so it'll, it'll last and not corrode onto your shock shaft. Then moving up, we have the coilover sleeves and collars. These are our own variety and um, this version of them, we have two versions. We were able to secure the original manufacturer for these collars for the original Spec Miata kits. However, sometimes we um, switch over to these, these different uh, coilover sleeves because they're reversible. So it just depends on what our inventory is looking like. But at the end of the day, it really doesn't matter because all they're doing is providing an adjustability function to the stock Bilsteins. Then of course you move over and we have two and a half inch spring isolators. These are the Fat Cat Motorsports spring isolators, which we now manufacture and produce and distribute. And these were custom designed to fit into 
the Mazda Miata OEM shock hats perfectly. So this is what you will not get with a standard off the shelf energy bushings uh, per se shock or spring isolator. It, it just won't fit in here perfect. So these are custom manufactured to fit into the shock hats perfectly. Uh, some people might think they can find an alternative solution to these, but these are um, one of the rarities out there that's actually configured to work specifically with the 99 through 05 mounts. And I'll show you how this works on the spring. It fits right on the top of that iBox spring there. And it works in conjunction with the coilover sleeves. So that's how that system kind of works with each other right there. And then I've already touched on these a little bit are the Eibach 2.5 inch race springs. So the front springs are a free length of six inches, a diameter of 2.5 inches. And then the spring rate for the spec Miatas is 700 inch pounds, which is arguably pretty stiff for a Miata, but that's what the spec Miata rules say we use. So that's why we use them. We do offer uh, coilover kits that are almost identical to this with different spring rates that we custom configured in conjunction with Fat Cat Motorsports. So basically we created our own coilover kits for different types of driving experiences and they have more conservative spring rates and different bump stop densities. These bump stops are pretty stiff so we offer some softer varieties for street and track and touring and all sorts of things. And then the rear springs are seven inch long free length, also 2.5 inches, and these are 325 inch pounds. So as you can see, taller and also a bit softer. So now that we've seen all the parts of our Spec Miata Fat Cat coilover kit, uh, we're gonna move over and show you the tools and um, things you need to equip yourself with before you tackle this job. So I hope this video was informative to you. I hope it helped explain our coilover kits, why we make them, and how they can benefit you. Uh, I'm not gonna go into the differences of why these might be better than whatever setup you're eyeing up. I have not tried every setup out there, but I am most familiar with and most trusting of the Bilstein shock and the iBox spring. This whole combination has served me well on my spec Miata for many, many years and still does. So this is what I trust, this is what I know, and this is what I always recommend. So with the price point of these being very competitive with a lot of the off the shelf, um, ready to go kits that aren't necessarily custom suited to a specific need, we feel these fit a nice gap in the marketplace to where you determine your ride quality and what you wanna do with your car and then we just give you the parts to do that yourself. Of course, I have to mention that for $100 extra, we will assemble these shocks for you. So if you're a little bit weary about how to put all this together, maybe you don't have the materials or the know-how or the abilities in having to do this process, that's okay. A lot of people um, don't have the, the means to do this. So anyways, for $100, We'll assemble these for you and we'll ship them to you just like this, ready to bolt into your car. So that is of course an option too that you can choose on our website. So thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Be sure to subscribe, hit the notifications bell, and that'll ensure that you are notified whenever we come out with a new video. And of course, if you're not following our social media outlets already, 5X Racing on both Facebook and Instagram, stay tuned to those two have the latest updates, the latest product introductions, um, when we're open, when we're closed, uh, and just fun stuff from the races. So I hope you're following us. If not, um, consider following us on those outlets to stay a little bit more informed and a little bit more in tune with what we're doing here at 5X Racing.